In this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine multiple images in Adobe Express. Now, here's the thing. When doing this, you need a reason and kind of like a goal in mind. So, for example, if I go ahead and click on this plus icon in the top left hand corner, it's going to ask me what size of a project do I want to work with. Now, this is going to depend on what size image you have, or it might depend on if you have a specific scenario that you want to crop your images to. Like if I wanted to upload all of my images to an Instagram square dimension, then I would have to click on square, right? Now, if I didn't really have any dimension in mind and I just wanted the largest area possible, then I could just click on 16 by nine. If I wanted, obviously, my images to be combined in a portrait so I could upload it to like TikTok, then again, we would choose portrait. Now for me, I'm going to click on landscape 16 by nine. And but what you need to do is open up a project which is going to complement your images. So to do that, I would first look at your images. Now I'm going to upload my images and you'll see why I've chose the 16 or the six by 19 dimension. So we'll go to upload. We'll then go ahead and click on downloads and I'll just select these three images. We'll then click open. Now by doing that, it's going to put the images inside of Adobe Express. And what we can do is we can click on each image and we can drag it here and again here and here. Now I've chosen the six by 19 dimension project because my images are portrait and I want to combine these images inside of the dimensions that will complement them. Now, if I obviously was trying to put all of these in a one by one dimension for Instagram, then I would struggle being able to put them in evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one image and we're going to drag it here and make it fit the full frame. I'm going to do the same with the second image and then again with the third. Now you can see even with this, we can't add them on so they're all equally spaced out. We might have to crop off some ends here. So let's say we wanted to keep this image. We could right click on it and we could bring it to the front or you could go ahead and click crop and you could remove, let's say like a little bit of this image, then click enter and you could resize each individual image. You can right click, you can bring images to the front or bring images back. This is all going to depend on your images though and the dimensions of your images. Here's another trick though. If you right click on your image and then you go to show more options, you can then go to properties and here you can see the dimensions. So if we go to details, you can see the dimensions are 3734 by 5600. Now, if you had two images which are essentially the same dimensions, you could just double these numbers and have the image essentially on top of each other. So those are kind of like the ways that you can combine images. It doesn't really get any easier than that, but those are the two different ways. I hope that video helped. You can then click download and download your combined image.